On Friday, March 27th, the House of Representatives approved the largest stimulus package in American history. The $2.2 trillion stimulus package is designed to help stabilize the economy and deliver emergency relief for millions of workers, companies, and state governments who have suffered losses due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The 800-page bill dictates who gets what and why. To break it down, we spoke with Elise Gould, a senior economist at the Economics Policy Institute. There are about five main components when we think about where the money is going. The first set, and I think in some ways the most important, aid that's going to individuals. This is helping families, helping workers, helping households be able to pay their bills, continue to pay their rent, um, their mortgage payments, continue to put food on the table. But those are one-time payments, and um, that will help people sort of make ends meet. The other component of that in terms of aid directly going to workers is the UI extension. That's the Unemployment Insurance Compensation Program. And there are expansions to that program that allow for many workers who had been previously left out of UI programs to be able to get that aid. So low wage workers that might not have been able to get it in the past will be able to get it. Workers that are furloughed will be able to get those benefits. And there are extra payments in those as well. And for people who have to stay home. The second bucket I would say is going to corporations. And those are different provisions for large and small small corporations. There are also some money that's going to large corporations. Some of that I would arguably say are giveaways. It's not clear the conditions that are being put on that money that's going out the door. And I think we need to watch that more closely. Small businesses can get access to loans um, that will be able to help pay for their payroll. Some of that also can be um, turned into grants, depending on whether or not they qualify. And those are to encourage businesses to continue having workers on payroll so that they don't get laid off, they don't even get furloughed, they stay on payroll and they manage so that they can support workers and their families, and uh, they'll get that excused. There's also going to be some aid to states, and that goes um, to state and local governments. Some of that is directly going to be because we have state and local governments providing a lot of the first responders for the, the healthcare workers, the Medicaid spending that's going to be needed to, to be done, um, aid to local governments in terms of education spending that needs to be done. As there's less revenue from either um, income taxes or from um, sales tax. The federal government really needs to step in and provide that aid to states and local governments who are on the front lines. And the last thing is public services, so that is aid to hospitals, to the medical care um, in general, and those, those things um, are, are important as well. Even after passing this bill, lawmakers are campaigning the need for another coronavirus relief bill. Members of Congress and the Trump administration are looking toward the fourth phase, and how quickly could this get done? This is going to be a very deep recession and it will be ameliorated by good legislation. This is certainly gonna help, uh, but we need, there's more that needs to be done. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and comment. Stay up with Cheddar's latest by hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to follow the latest CDC guidelines for COVID prevention, including social distancing, hand sanitizing, and hand washing.